I be so sick of you niggas, y'all contradicting I be so bold myself when you come and fuck me I feel so ordinary, said when you won't ground me Treat me like older, why you wear me out? Arguments you air me out Trippin' about your whereabouts I can keep no conflict with you, what can we just rub it out? I don't want no sad with you, you know you my thug And I can't shake this habit, no The perfume trade that I did, I think it was last week. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing the perfume trays. Move on. Right. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing the perfume trays, but I gave myself from Wednesday, last Wednesday to this Wednesday, to wear all of my perfumes. Oh, and including, including my, my samples out of this bag. So, <clears throat> let's talk about it. Of course, I had got the Jackie Ina Forever Mood. I am her perfume, and this is her. This is her. Like, I wore this alone uh, the second day I got it. The first day, I put it on my wrist, and... I wore it for the rest of the day and then the very next day I just went ahead and added it to the tray and do did a full wear and oh my god this is it I turned around a few days later and paired it layered it with tropidelic and this was a good combo so tropidelic alone has a strong long lasting scent but it does smell like just a tad bit mature -er. <laughs> if you guys have seen my perfume video i said that this tropidelic is a older lit granny or let me say mid age lit granny or mid age lit auntie I paired these two together and they were a match made in heaven. I just tried it. Okay. I just tried. This is the last scent that I need to wear for the week, which is the Who Sahara by what is this brand again? Lamonde Grimond. So this is the scent that I have to wear today to finish off the tray. And honestly, you guys, it's 234. I woke up this morning to the kids to school and came back, ate me some breakfast and really went back to sleep. And I woke up at two. So I really, I need to take a shower and stuff, but I honestly, I'm really about to take a shower, spray this on, cook and get back in the bed. Today of the day that I'm recording, it is Wednesday. Monday, Monday, the hell out of my household. Like, Monday, Monday does, okay? Tuesday, Tuesday, me and the wife, I had another doctor's appointment. I had to do another testing. Um, they did they did the testing of the arteries in my neck. Y'all should see, y'all should have seen that before this clip. We went shopping. So we did go to TJ Maxx, we did go to Ross. We went and got food and we came back home. We ate. It rained all day yesterday. I took my son and my niece to Five Below in the mix of the pouring rain. If y'all know my Casanova, y'all would understand. If you know my Casanova, then you know. So once we got back, I ate again, took a shower, and got back in the bed. And I ate it all night long until I just got tired. And then here I am Wednesday, which is, they, it was raining. My oldest is testing. I dropped him off to school and got back in the bed. I don't know if my body is tired or my brain tired, like honestly. So, so this one was really good. This is the La De Coco. Oh. And this is the jumbo one. Yeah, I really like this one. Really, really, really like this one. The only thing I don't like is when I spray this perfume, the bottle leaks. Like, 
the perfume leaks out of the side, which I don't know what that's about, but I really do like this. This is a great creamy, milky, soft type of scent for bedtime, daytime, like any, it's not like a daytime, a date night perfume. It's not heavy. It's light. And you could pair, you could layer this with something. I don't know what yet because I didn't layer it, baby. I left it right where it was at because it smells so good. But you can layer it. <clears throat> hey, don't get over here playing. Okay, so the Tory Birch is what I put on last night. Y'all know I've been working through my Dillard sampler bag. Y'all go in the room and play. Okay, so the Tory Birch. I didn't know how to feel about it. My wife said she liked it, but mm, this Tory Birch is almost on that mature side that I'm not there yet. It smells good, but it just really feel a little more mature. And the crazy part about it is I did spray that and I still have some left in the bottle, in the sample. If that gives y'all a feel of how I'm feeling about the Tory Burch. Now, my Estee, not Estee Lauder, girl. Lancome, <laughs> I'm tired. The Lancome, nah, I, I killed the bottle. I killed my little sample. This smells good. And I am like, I'm like, yeah, I think I need a bottle of that. Like, <laughs> this smells good. It's one of those good daytime scents, too. And I know, I'm pretty sure you can layer it with something. Oh, ooh, look. Oh, yeah. This is the Lancome one. Finished it. I just kept it just to show y'all. And I did pull out the Finery Flower Bed. I really like this one. And it could be paired with something. Honestly, kind of feel like Flower Bed would pair with Forever Mood. I am her. Really good. So, those are the two samples I used up. Well, <laughs> I have the rest of the Tory Burch Elixir by Elamande Grande. Grande. Grimond. Yeah, I have a lot of these. So don't, don't shoot the messenger, okay? These may not last all freaking day, but they are so, they're so good. So it's either you're going to pack it around and spray every two to three hours or you're going to layer it and combo it with something else that will give it a longer projection and blend in really well and give an all-around great-ass smell. You get me? Chai clear is that. Like, I really like it. It really don't smell like how you would think the drink chai would smell. It smells creamier. It smells more sweeter and more edible, like, it's a Gourmand, and I love the fact that this company is like a Gourmand type of company. Like, they, a lot of their stuff is going to be on the sweeter, edible, juicier side. You get what I'm saying? If they could just get the lasting power to last longer, that it would be it. Because this here, oh, ooh, excuse me, I love this company. For real, for real. I just started following following them on Instagram, Instagram, and y'all. When I say, why did I do that? <laughs> y'all will see coming up shortly in my April's monthly buy. Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, I did also enjoy my my Sabrina Carpenter sweet tooth. This is the caramelized one that looked like it's tooth a tooth toothpaste. It looked like Too Faced. Y'all, this eats every time. Alone, mixed in. This bad boy eats. Ooh. She eats every time. That's a perfume. I, I got to go back and get the pink one. Now, I'm not going to lie. Ever since I've been getting heavy into these perfumes and stuff, I have went and found majority of all these perfumes that I have started to collect on Instagram and stuff so i'm like i'm in there deep <laughs> when it comes down to this perfume girl i don't know if this is a new niche for me but baby oh baby the perfumes and like my wife said 
once I get into something, I get into something and I go so hard on it and I can't lie. She's not lying. When I'm in my makeup era, I'm in my makeup era. Oh my God. When I'm in my era, I am in my era like until I'm just not in it no more. Like for real, for real. When I had first gotten to my soap making, oh my God. Y'all, I have scents for days. I have fragrance oils for days for soaps. So speaking of the things I made, I made myself a pineapple. I call it Tropical Pineapple Island Love Body Oil. This is from my own brand when I was selling body care products and stuff. I made a pineapple body oil. And I love it. It smells so juicy. It smells like pineapple juice. Like you could just pour this in your mouth and drink it, but you can't. Okay. That's how good and so real of a pineapple this thing smells like. It smells like pineapple. The reason for me pulling this one out was to pair with the Kimberly's Tropical Pineapple. Oh, shit. I just noticed my shit is named the same. Mine is Tropical Pineapple. I love, love And Kimberly's is Tropical Pineapple. This is one of the five below perfumes. The only five and below perfume I own. But that was in last month's perfume haul. I paired this together and went to bed. Only because this do smell like pineapple, but I was just un under the impression that, you know, under the assumption that maybe this wasn't going to last at all. And I can honestly say, I don't know if it even lasted because this lasted. I took a shower. I oiled. I sprayed. I went to bed. I woke up the next day still smelling like a freshly cut pineapple okay but you do have to use a lot i don't think y'all can see how much i didn't use i didn't use this much you do use a lot because once you spray this you really don't smell the pineapple it's crazy you smell the pineapple when you're smelling it you spray it in the body you spray it in the air you smell the pineapple once it hits your body you do not smell pineapple you almost don't smell nothing and that was my whole purpose of buying this, just for the ticks and giggles and see how it it lasted, how it wore, how it project. Do y'all know this is sold at Walmart too? When I was trying, when I did my March perfume haul, I linked all perfumes and stuff down below, and this came up at Walmart, not at Five Below, nowhere at Five Below. Walmart and it's higher at Walmart. It's twelve ninety nine. I don't know. Who, okay, I know who this brand is, but I did see some of these. I did see some of these at TJ Maxx when I went just yesterday, and I didn't pick up any. Okay, this is by the brand Indulgent Moments. These are perfumes that were found at. I don't know if I found this particular one at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross, but you get where I'm going. That's where they are. This one is called Nectarine and Blushing Freesia. And honestly, this smells really good and juicy. This will be a great um, vacation, vacation scent. But this is the vacation scent that, you know, you go into the water, to the beaches and stuff. Oh, this is good for that. It, it literally smells like a Nectarine. I don't know where Freesia smells like but this smells like a nectarine coconut breezy beachy tropical type of scent that's what i get but once again these don't last long they don't stand alone on your body they don't beautiful big bottle has a lot in it i think these are like 14 to 16 dollars a bottle they smell good right in that time. Pack it around with you or layer it up. Or if you're not that type of person that need a scent to last all day, if you just need a scent to, you know, 
get you by for a few hours, these will be right up your alley. These, my Grimond, Lamonde Grimonds, these type of scents, they'll get you for the couple of my, uh, hours. And I think that's why I was okay with them to begin with. When I first started getting into my perfume bag, I was okay with it less than just, you know, a few hours. And I was like, oh, well, it did good. It was amazing. Two, three hours was great for me. Now that I'm in the bag, like at the bottom of the bag, I'm like, oh, baby, mm -mm. Mm -mm. this got to last a full eight to 10 hours. It has to last or I need to layer it now that I done learned how to layer it. Now that I done watched so many perfume videos, been in so many groups. I'm going to keep saying it. Since you smell good Facebook group, y'all, I'm telling y'all, get into that group on Facebook and let them know A. Hey, Marie Beauty sent you because I be in there heavy every day. I'm learning a lot from women all over the world that love to smell good like for real for real and i keep giving that group credit because when i first got into that group it taught me so much i am in probably like five six other groups that goes along with perfume but that group uh -uh, that group it gave it to me the channels i've been watching Platinum D off rip. I keep giving her credit because I've been watching Platinum D for years. But I, once I started getting into the perfume, I'm telling y'all, I've been working off her list to buy Peyton Charles. I can't wait till she brings out her perfume. I cannot wait because I'm going to get it. Like, I'm going to get it. I never thought I was into more masculine unisex type of perfumes and stuff until Peyton Charles. I don't like everything she likes, just like I don't like everything Platinum likes, but they are up my alley. Like, they steer me in the right direction, and I'm cool with it. I understand it. I get it. And I thank you. So, yes, now that learning how to layer, learning how to pair different things together, I need a full eight to 10 hour wear on a perfume. Leah Janae talks about it. She she knows, she goes into all the different areas of perfumes, lotions and all that. It's Mindy, I just found her like a week ago and I've been like hard on her channel. Leah Janae, baby, I watch everything that comes to her channel. It, it, it could be the makeup video. I'm still into makeup. I still do beauty reviews. I'm going to watch it. Platinum D, Peyton Charles, It's Mindy, Leah Janae. I'm having, I'm about to put everybody in my description. Y'all better just go and subscribe. Click a couple of their videos. Let them know A. Marie sent you. And I'm dead ass. Y'all going to just like get sucked in if y'all are the type of person I am. Y'all gonna get sucked in. And if y'all not the type of person I am, I'm okay. And then my last one is this. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Is it oak? Ocha? How y'all pronounce it? Tell me how you pronounce it. It's sweet addict. Kayali's perfume. The one everybody raves about. And I wanna kinda say maybe part of the first of Kayali's collection. That's exactly what this is duping. I don't know personally because I don't have Kayali. I haven't smelled Kayali. But this sweet addi uh, addict, I was going to say addiction. This sweet addict is bomb. I do have a dossier perfume that is supposed to be a Kayali dupe as well. And these are supposed to be that that one particular dupe and these really do smell good together and they do kind of smell alike i would honestly pair those two together and this perfume you're gonna smell this days after I'm not gonna lie it smells good and it, it is it's a good sweet marshmallow 
Girl, I smell marshmallows, like for real, for real. Like, I want to give y'all more of a description, but the marshmallow is so heavy in here that I, it's just like. So, to say what's my favorite perfume from the week that I've been wearing, I'm going to say my sweet tooth by Sabrina. She eats. And I'm going to have to say my favorite mood. I am her. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what the reviews are. My review is Jackie Ina ate this freaking perfume, okay? I'm going to go get the other three bottles. I think I said that before, too. But I am. I'm going to go get the other three bottles. But these two are my favorites from the week. Now, what I need to do is put these back. No, I need to pick out some more before I put these back because I probably would accidentally grab them the same things again okay so give me hot two seconds all right so we're down here this is exactly how i'm storing <laughs> my perfumes for right now i do have some leftovers some rollovers in another drawer and this drawer which this keeps falling apart because it's not full to the tip top but hey now, I do have another one of those Indulge Moments perfumes. This is Nairoli and Sea Salt. I think I am going to pull that one out. I kind of want to pull, pull out Jungle Santal to see how I'm really feeling it. I really want to see how I'm feeling that one. I'm trying to see what else I got in here. You know what? I do have some new perfumes over here that is going for the month of april y'all could get like little sneak peeks <laughs> little sneak peeks i kind of want to test one of those out too let's see oh you know what i need to try this one what is this called this is tap at the tap at the web color is the name of the perfume so i think i'm gonna test this one out i don't think this one is a full day wear neither but we'll see so there's three so far this was the perfume that i was talking about that is matched to the other perfume kayali love don't be shy this one here is floral marshmallow by dossier Ooh, what about dragon fruit all right i think i'm gonna do Fruit Dew Dragon. It's the Here and Body Mist. And this one is by the same brand. Lamande Gourmand. And I think I'm going to do Citrus Ginger, which is Chanel Blue Dew. This is a dossier. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. You know what? I really did like these. These are my Polo Club. You got to be careful with these two. Because these go kind of heavy on a mature side. So I think I'm going to do the Thickest Guy Embrace. It's all smeared. But I think this one is the Embrace. I think I'm going to go with this one. And then I got to pull out. Blindly pull out to ooh flower bomb vector and Roth boom and let's see what this is ooh K spade bloom so let's go ahead and sit y'all right here and let's build this tray. And I'm trying to think, do I need to bring that down somewhere? I want y'all to be able to see the actual products I'm putting in.
I kind of feel like I could put one more on there. Because this is really eight with these. But normally, I'm either wearing one of these to bed or one out and about to get a full wear. Nah. And I'm going to leave it like that. This is a little different type of trick. I get this idea from Platinum D to do a perfume tray and get a wear out of it. And she gets rid of the ones that she don't like, but I haven't gotten there yet. I don't know which ones I don't like. So here's the tray for the look. We are ignore Warrants. He's eating. But looky, looky what we have. Mm-hmm. And it actually say to A Marie Beauty. Let's go open this up. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. The perfume yesterday. The Oud Sahar. Baby. Oud E. Oudi. 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 So, <clears throat> if you're an Oud girl, get it, get it, get it. If you're not an Oud girl and it's too Oudi like me, then layer it with something. All right, let's see. Oh, let's see what we have here. What do we have here? Wake up and be radiant from Yanni Best. Oh, I can't see it. Yanni Best. Yanni Best is from Amazon. Wake up and be radiant. Let's see what we got going on here. Hair health treatment. Your trustable hair keeper. Hair soft, moisturized, tangle free, anti freeze, anti static. Thank you, Yanni Best. Ew, it's my bonnet. Ooh, okay, I gotta do a cute Instagram reel or TikTok or something. So I don't wanna take it out out until I do that. I don't wanna unfold the prettiness. So that was a bonnet. Oh, and these are my satin pillowcases. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you once again, Yanni Best, for sending me over these two beautiful items. Perfume buys. I want to show y'all my wife's. I got her into the colognes. And when I say I told her to pick out Move right. Move brighter. Yeah, I hear him. He's so nasty. Just got the ear. I'm in here doing all that burping. Okay. Oh, see, I don't know where she put hers. She be hiding hers because of our kids. Our boys be tearing up her stuff, okay? But I was going to show y'all her little collection that she's starting. I got her into the cologne, so now she has, like, a big itch like me. <clears throat> Last night, she was like, I was like, girl, come on. Come on, if that's what you want to do. So, y'all should have seen that clip. I had it clip before or right now. Y'all, we in a Ross. Bay idea, so uh uh, it's her idea. Is that my phone? No, <laughs> you need to get that MCM. I ain't even hear you. I looked up, I seen it. Like, <laughs> what is that? You need to get these MCMs and see what they like. This, do you want to try it? I've always had an eye for the MCM, but I don't see it. But my battery about to die and I don't even vlog like that. So 
I'm gonna on y'all because I really don't be having nothing to talk about at this point. Well, not at this point, but like in general, I ain't been having nothing going on for me to be on the camera. So. Like